In this video, we try to create some man-made volcano earthquakes by doing a simple science experiment. In this experiment, we'll drop sacks of sand from a helicopter and measure the impacts on the set of seismometers. We want to know how fast the seismic waves travel in the Earth because the seismic speed can improve the location of real volcano earthquakes. For each drop, about 700 kilograms of sand are hoisted to about 400 meters by the helicopter pilot. He hovers over the target. If you look carefully, you can see a white cross on the ground. It takes about eight seconds for the sandbag to travel from the helicopter to the ground. 1,300 feet. And the bag hits the ground at about 70 meters per second. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The pilot is highly experienced. He can usually get the sandbag to hit within 20 to 30 meters of the target. We've set out 17 seismometers before the sand drops, and they will record the results of each experiment. The sensors are placed over the entire island, and also in a line in the volcano's crater. Then we filled the bags with beach sand, laid out the targets that can be seen from the air, and the seismometers will capture the waves traveling from the sandbags as they hit the ground. Okay, just passing through a thousand feet here, guys, and my target's clear. Okay, if you're ready, go for it. When the bag hits the ground, it sends a seismic wave to all of the seismometers. There it goes. You get to hold your position. Oh, what a flash. That was from 1,300, guys. The results of the experiment were quite good. We learned that the volcano crater, which is composed of loose sand and gravel, has slow seismic velocities of about 1300 meters per second. Outside of the crater, the rocks are more solid and the seismic waves travel faster, at about 2300 meters per second. With these results, we can now more accurately locate natural earthquakes under White Island that might indicate the rise of magma and possible future eruptions.